headlines. America says a Russian fighter jet has forced one of its surveillance drones to crash into the Black Sea using tactics that have been condemned by officials. Several times before the collision, the Su-27s dumped fuel on and flew in front of the MQ-9 in a reckless and unprofessional manner. Tougher background checks announced on gun buying in America as President Biden tries to stop mass shootings. Tropical storm Freddy has killed more than 200 people in Malawi and Mozambique after striking for a second time. Clashes in Pakistan as Imran Khan's supporters try to stop police arresting him outside his home, a move the former PM says is outside the law. It's not the law of the land, it's the law of the jungle. And the UK's biggest horse racing festival is kicking off with stricter rules around jockeys whipping horses. Well, around a quarter of a million people are expected at the UK's Cheltenham Festival this week as one of the biggest events in world racing gets underway. What's new this year are the rules on how much the jockeys can use their whips during the four days of racing. Too much and they could be disqualified. Starting with the fact that the UK's Chancellor of the Exchequer is set to use Wednesday's budget to promise a major expansion of free childcare in England as part of a drive to encourage more people back to work. The Treasury hasn't formally commented ahead of the budget. The state of Ohio is suing the company whose freight derailed near the city of East Palestine last month. The state's attorney general wants Norfolk Southern to pay for the cleanup of the toxic chemicals that were leaked. The case alleges that 58 federal and state laws were broken when more than a million gallons of hazardous material was spilled. Stock markets in the United States and Europe have rebounded after turbulence following last week's collapse of the California-based Silicon Valley Bank. They've been bolstered by the continuing decline in the annual rate of U.S. inflation. The Greek government says rail traffic will resume gradually from next week, more than three weeks after the deadliest train crash in the country's history. 57 people were killed when a passenger train and freight train collided head-on at the end of February. A court in Romania has rejected a bail application from the controversial influencer Andrew Tate. He's been held since December as part of an investigation into people trafficking and sexual abuse, allegations which he and his brother deny. The annual rate of inflation in Argentina has topped 100%, the highest level in over 30 years. Argentina has been in economic difficulty for years, and three quarters of the population now live in poverty. The left-wing government has been trying to control rising prices by putting caps on the prices of food and other products. France is counting down to the 2024 Olympic Games, quite literally. Organisers unveiled a sign in Paris to mark 500 days until the start of the Games. Anticipation is building and so is demand for tickets. Organisers say they've sold 3.25 million tickets in th Phase 1. They had set a goal of 3 million.